That's me. Today, June 16, 2022, we find ourselves gathered in Marseille, in front of the Palais de Justice, to honor the memory of the admirable investigative journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia, murdered on October 16, 2017, in Malta. A state crime, a crime of corruption, a mafia assassination in Europe. At the same time, on our island, citizens and our comrades in the struggle of the Collective Republica are organizing the same rally as they have been doing for five years now. Five years without justice. From now on, the photos, flowers and candles placed in tribute to Daphne are no longer destroyed in Valletta because the memorial opposite the, cause out, the courthouse was regularly defeated by the public authorities. It took a battle in court and a legal decision in 2020 so that it becomes permanent and can no longer be degraded. Tonight, we salute the determination, courage, and perseverance of those who continue to remind the world that there has still been, that, that there has still been no justice for Daphne. And we echo their fight on this side of the Mediterranean until the culprits of, the, of Daphne's assassination are condemned from the highest peak to the lowest, from the sponsors to the performers, the civil society will not leave those responsible in peace. Let its assassins err it, let them know. The circle of her supporters is growing every day in the world. We are here and we will not allow her voice and her stories to disappear. Today in Marseille, tomorrow in Paris, Brussels, London or Berlin, we will organize ourselves to make people know, to make people hear everywhere in Europe that it is now time to find the means to fight globally and in solidarity against corruption. To obtain justice is not an option but a, re a requirement and a duty. An act of life in the face of the power of death of mafia violence. Last May in Palermo, anti-mafia collectives met to commemorate together another wounded memory, another massacre of the Mafia. The assassination of Judge Giovann Giovanni Falcone, his wife, Francesca Morvillo, and his escort on May 23, 1992, in Capaccio, Sicily. In 30 years, the legacy of this great judge, like that of other exemplary figures of the anti-Mafia fight in Italy, those of Paolo Borsellino, Dio Lattore, Epino Impastato, have profoundly wanted Italian legislation with strong efficiency and victories to be welcomed. Our observation today is that we are experiencing such a worrying situation in Europe as it was in Italy years ago. In Malta, as in France, the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, this observation confronts us with an accelerating mafia impunity without real awareness by our, by our respective states without urgent adaptations of our laws to deal with corruption, organized crime, money laundering, tax evasion, mafia violence. At the end of July 2021, an independent investigation directly accused the Maltese government of being partly responsible for the assassination of Daphne and concluded as follows. The tentacles of impunity then spread to other regulatory bodies and the police leading to, to a collapse in the rule of laws. These very serious facts call us here today in full solidarity with the Maltese people. They should know that they, are, that they are not alone, that we will work and fight together on a European scale as citizens so that Daphne obtains justice. And that profound changes accompany in Europe a revolution of awareness and the application of legislation which finally effectively protects us from the grip of the mafia, which threatens our democracies. The Daphne's murders, murder obliges us. Her death is, not, is now our heritage, our raised first fist and our dignity. We will always refuse to be governed by the mafia. We will always refuse impunity, corruption, violence, and assassinations. In memory of journalists, murdered in Europe for having investigated, like Daphne, against corruption. 
Victoria Marinova, Bulgarian journalist, murdered and raped on October 6, uh, 2018. She was investigating on suspicion of European subsidy fraud involving businessmen and elected officials. Jan Kusia, Slovak journalist, shot dead on February 21. He was investigating the links of Prime Minister Robert Fico's cabinet with the Calabrian Mafia. Georgios Karaivas, Greek journalist, shot dead on April, April 9, 2021. He was dealing with, with sensitive issues involving the conservative government of Kyriakos Mitostakis. Peter Rodolf von Fries. Dutch investigative journalist shot dead in Amsterdam on July 6, 2021. He was investigating the Moroccan mafia involved in the transport and sale of cocaine in Europe. Justice for Daphne. Justice for all innocent victims of the mafia in Europe. Mais soit tu peux t'assurer que c'est bien rediffusable. Hum. Pareli bon que ti l'angueli, pareli bon que qua non congo, pareli bon que ti l'angueli. Baje Libon, que qua non Congo, i, 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 a la la la, 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 non co, non co, non co Mandela. Non, 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 et tu l'envoies ni. Non, 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 c'est sous l'eau. Non, 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 et tu l'envoies ni. I, ni, bawa l'outchouli. Ah, il nous a tenu, nous a tenu. I, ni, bawa l'outchouli. Ah, il nous a tenu, nous a tenu. Bacheli bon que ti l'angueni, Bacheli bon que qua non congo, Bacheli bon que ti l'angueni, Bacheli bon que qua non congo, non co, non co, non co so bukwe, non co, non co, e ti l'angueni, non co, non co, non co so bukwe, non co, non co, e ti l'angueni, ili, wema Africa, ah, you so ten, you so ten, ili, wema Africa, Ah, you so ten, you so ten, Bacheli bon, que et ti l'angueni, Bacheli bon, que quand on pongo, Bacheli bon, que et ti l'angueni, Bacheli bon, que quand on pongo.